Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher. Welcome to Sea Rad. Today we have a box of Moodyverse Star Wars plush to unbox. So stay tuned. Sea Rad. Hi, everybody. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. When I did my Walmart merch search the other day, I came across these really cute plush, and they're called Moodyverse. So they are different Star Wars plush, and they come with different moods on their face. This was the only Grogu one that they had there at the store. So I had to run home and actually look up what these were, and I was really surprised to find out, because I didn't look at the tag good enough. They're by Mattel, Moodyverse. So at the store, they only had the four. They had Grogu, Chewbacca, Darth Vader, and the Stormtrooper. But when I got home and did my research, I saw that they had them at GameStop. I could order them, but I could not order specific ones. So I ordered five different ones in the hopes of getting five different little Moodyverse plush. They are here. I have the box open, but I have not looked at it yet because we're going to kind of reach in and see what we get. So, Fisher, I am going to have to put you to the side. Do you go with that? I can go with that. All right, my little dude. Boop. Boop. <laughs> we will see you in a little bit. So first, another good up close look at this guy. He's really, really cute. Little smiley Grogu with his little pink cheeks. No feeties on him, unfortunately. But these are about the size. It's like Mattel's answer to the itty bitties. About the same exact size as them. And even going around, I'm just noticing now on the back of Grogu, he's got the Sherpa on the front. It does not go all the way around. So the back is pretty, pretty plain. But other than that, super cute. He's got embroidered little features. He's really, really soft. They're not quite as thick as the Itty Bitties. The Itty Bitties have a little bit more volume to them. But he is super cute. But there are 15 different ones. Check them out, guys. So it looks like there's four different Grogu ones that I could possibly get. A couple Chewbacca's, an Ewok. There's R2, Jabba, Stormtrooper, looks like an embarrassed Mando, <laughs> a couple Chewbacca's, did I say, and a Porg, but all super cute. I love that laughing Jabba. I think he is really, really funny. But each one does, because they're called Moodyverse, they portray a different mood. So we've got the box. Like I said, I just kind of pre-cut it, then I folded it up without even looking, because I didn't want to know what I got. So let's see what other five we get. Hopefully I did not get another one of these. But yeah, let's kind of reach in and see what Moodyverse plush we got. I'm not going to look. I'm going to hold it up high. I'm not going to let you guys look either. We're going to reach in. And the first one I got is the R2. He's cute. He's like a little tiny pillowy R2. And then his legs aren't plush. They're like that, you know, thick felty material. So, yeah, they could have done a little bit better with the legs on these. But the back of him is a lot better than the back of Grogu. Cute. And then his tag is a little bit different than the Grogu one that I got at Walmart. So it does have a few different ones on there. And adorable. Let's see. I have not looked in the box. I know it was down there, but I was looking at the camera, not the box. So let's see. What do we got next? Guys, we got a Groot. Groot, guys, is definitely not Star Wars, but he is a Moodyverse. So apparently there are Marvel Moodyverse ones, too. So now, of course, I'm going to have to look into that. He looks a little sad, Groot. He's sad because he got mistaken for Star Wars. God, I hope there's not more Marvel ones in there. They... They said Star Wars, so whoever packed this box, that was a major, major geek fail, especially for somebody working at GameStop. But he's cute, though. I love Groot. We all know I love Groot, but oh, that that's so... I'm sorry, dude. I know. So sad. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, let's hope... Do we got more Marvel in here? More Star Wars? Ah, okay. We've got a Vader. That is definitely Star Wars. And I told a friend of mine, if I got a Darth Vader one, it was hers. He's got a little cape in the back. 
And then not not much detail on the back of them, but a little cape. Super cute face. Looks like he does belong to that same collection as the R2, so that's good to know. There might be different ones. There might be a certain set for Walmart, a certain set for GameStop. They're the only two places I've been able to find them, and I couldn't even find them on the Walmart website. It said out of stock. Even though the store I went to had a boatload of them. But Vader's cute. He's kind of giving you a look like, hmm. That's probably because he's like, why was there a Groot in the box? Seriously, why? <laughs> he's talking to Groot. <laughs> but Vader, so three. No more Grogu's yet. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? We got Mando! We got an embarrassed Mando. <laughs> I love it. His helmet is blushing because he's embarrassed. He's really, really super cute. He also has a cape. Not many details on the back of him. But yeah, it's screen printed details on his face. A little bit of embroidery. He is super, super cute. And that leaves one left, guys. And my chances of getting a Grogu at this point are just like slim to none. Okay, my chances are better. Little crying Grogu. Oh, it's okay, buddy. No need to be sad. He's like, <laughs> He's sad because they messed up and put a Groot in my Star Wars stuff. I know. Let it go, right? Yes, I know. But I paid for five Star Wars items. I got a Marvel. I'm probably not going to say anything. I mean, I might leave a review saying, hey... I got a Marvel in with my Star Wars, so just be careful when ordering these, but yeah. Unfortunately, little crying Grogu does have a little sad Groot friend. Little sad Groot friend, little crying Grogu, they do kind of go together. You guys can be friends forever. So, got these at GameStop. They are, as you can see, $4.99 a piece. They had to ruin the tag by putting their big sticky price tag on them. That's really unfortunate because I can't even, when I try to get this off, it's just pulling the back of the actual Moodyverse tag with it. So that that's kind of boo, unfortunately. They don't do anything special other than just being cute and something you could collect. I'm really surprised they didn't make these like keychains or something, but I, I'm kind of glad they didn't because I like my plush without things in their head sometimes. But super adorable and i did end up with two grogu's one that i got at walmart one that i got from gamestop i wanted the one with the big wide eyes really really super cute oh and i did notice my friends galaxy's edge explorers did a reel today or this will be yesterday when you're seeing this they are coming out with mandalorian cutie cuffs which have i think three or four different grogu's in it so as soon as i have more news about that i will be definitely doing either a merch news video or an unboxing video so yeah stay tuned for those but in the meantime, rating these on our scale of totally bad to totally rad, I think they're totally rad. They're kind of cute. Even the Groot is a totally rad to me. And let's see, what other Marvel ones do they have? It looks like Spider-Man. It looks like maybe a Deadpool. Rocket, Hulk, and then a couple different Groots. Is that Deadpool up there? I can't tell. I need to put my glasses on. <laughs> but... They're, they're cute. I might have to look into getting some Marvel ones, and I might try to get a few more of these just to see if I can get any of the different Star Wars ones, and if not, they're great for giveaways in the Disney parks. <laughs> but yeah, definitely a totally rad. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, Please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right? We'll see you later.